Hello, my name is Dominique and this is Homesteading for Three if you are new. Um, and I have a haul that I wanna go through, but I also wanna introduce you to our new puppy. There he is, his name is Tux, he is six months old. He is a really good dog, but he is a puppy, technically still, so he does need some obedience training and such. He is, um, he pulls a lot on the leash and he, um, doesn't always listen and jumps up on people and such so but he's a really good dog overall he's very good at night um in his crate and uh we're excited to be dog parents so <laughs> um but i want to show you the haul that i'm talking about was from um, Timu is the name of it. I can't even show you the label because it's covered up. But it's that site. I keep hearing a lot about it. Um, and it's, from my understanding, it's like really cheap like Wish, if you remember Wish, but it's not, it doesn't take as long to get to you. And it's not quite as sketchy because I've had some things where I ordered from Wish and they just never came, <laughs> like things like that. So we'll see how the things are and the quality and everything. Um, and I'll let you know the total of everything at the end as well. Okay, so the fun thing about this is that I don't know, I don't remember everything I ordered because it was like a week and a half ago or something like that. Um, and this is a big bag, so <laughs> let's find out together. I think it'll be fun. Okay, so the first thing, it looks like I have two of these. Oh yeah, so these are little um, solar lights. So you can put them on stakes. They come with the stake for the ground. And everything was just ridiculously cheap. So I was like wondering what the quality, they seem like decent quality as long as they work. So we'll have to try those out at some point. But so far I see two of those. I can't remember if I ordered more or not. But I also got this hose holder to put on the side of the house because our hose just is on the ground. So I can actually hang it up. I also got, what is this? It's like a box with, oh yeah, these are more lights, solar lights for, you can put them like on a deck or a fence. So they have this little ledge that goes on the top of it. This top is a solar panel and then it has a light that goes down it. They're really cool, but there was a four pack and I don't know if I got more than one four pack or just one four pack, but I fi figured we could put that out on our back back deck. Um, I also got this hose splitter, which I think is gonna be cool because if I wanna have two different hoses with two different sprinklers, because one sprinkler doesn't cover everything in my yard. I don't have irrigation set up, so it'd be just like one of those regular sprinklers that go like that. But um, I could have two hoses set up so that I could have two sprinklers going at the same time. So that's pretty cool. Um, this, I've had something similar in my Amazon cart for a while. I just didn't want to pay for it because it was like not something I need, but you know. Um, but it's one of these little silicone bottles. You put oil in it and then you squirt the oil out and you like spread it around on the pan. Like such a simple thing that I don't really need, but it was super cheap. So I was like, I'll try it and see if it works. Hopefully it doesn't leak or anything. Um, and then it looks like I have four of these, but these are the motion sensor lights. So you can put them inside like a pantry or under a cabinet, um, like under the cabinets in the kitchen. And they're pretty small, but I think they'll be nice just to add a little light. So let's show you how big they are. And you can just stick them on with an adhesive. Hopefully they actually stay. Um, and then, yeah, they're supposed to be motion activated. So that's pretty cool. What else we got? Oh, this is a grill cover. So if I wanna cook something that uh, on the grill that would fall through the grates too easily, I can put this grill cover on it. Or if I just want to protect the 
grates from getting all yucky. I can use that too, so that's really cool. And then I got a hose actually to go with my hose litter thing. I have another, I have a black hose that's, um, it's one of these that are kind of similar to this. They expand as when you turn the water on. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting over a cold. I had a cold last weekend and I still have some residual phlegm. And it comes with this sprayer thing, which is cool. So now, now I do have two hoses. This is 50 feet once it, once you turn it on and it expands, it's not 50 feet until it actually, you know, it like stretches out. But um, I like these because they don't get tangled nearly as easily. Um, so that's really exciting. Oh, I did order more of these lights. Yeah, these puck light things. So I have six total right now, it looks like. So that's really cool. Once we eventually get a fence, I would like to have something like that, like on each panel of the fence so that our yard is kind of lit up on the outside. I think that would be really nice. And there's a couple clothing items as well that I can try on at the end of the video um, to show you how it looks. But this is just like a, it's like a, oh my gosh, look how thin that is. Yeah, you can see right through that. <laughs> um, maybe a good swimsuit cover, I don't know. <laughs> but it's like a cami dress. Um, so maybe a good swimsuit cover, I'm thinking. Then I got these. I don't know if you've ever seen, this is like a generic version of those, I think it's called bunch of balloons or something like that, but it it uh, fills up a bunch of water balloons all at once. And once they're full, they fall off and they're tied. It ties them. It's really, really cool. I did this for my daughter's um, birthday last year um, because her birthday's in June. It's actually tomorrow. And um, it was really nice because it took like two seconds to fill up like a ton of water balloons. So. This is obviously a cheaper version, so we'll see if they work as well. I'll probably still buy the other ones just so we have a backup and we're not bumming the kids out if it doesn't work. But um, it looks like I have another box of those same lights, um, the ones that go on top of the... Oh yeah, because these round ones are the ones that go in stakes, and then these ones are the ones that go on top of a fence or the outside of the deck. And then another clothing item. I thought this pattern was really pretty, but this is another like cami. It's like a cami on the top, but it's a dress. Also pretty thin, but I wasn't really expecting it to be like super high quality because it was really cheap, um, but it's cute. It looks, I really like the pattern. So again, I can try that on. Um, another one of these silicone things. So I guess I have two and I can put two different kinds of oil in them. And then I have a dishwasher magnet. Um, I didn't even check before I bought this if my dishwasher, like if, if you can put magnets on it. Cause I've had dishwashers in the past that weren't magnetic on the front. So like these wouldn't work. <laughs> but again, it was really cheap. So I can always give it to somebody if it doesn't work for our dishwasher. Um, but I thought it was cute. I'll show you the what the writing looks like. You can get it out of the plastic, okay. So dirty, clean, he just slide it over. Thought that was nice. So hopefully my dishwasher is magnetic, but we'll find out. Um, and then I got these gray and white sponges. I get ones that look exactly like this at Ikea and they're also pretty cheap at Ikea, um, but I just like it cause it's kind of neutral and you don't have to have like a bright yellow sponge sitting on your counter. It's like not something that's that big of a deal, but I just like them. So that's what I got. Um, and that is it. So my total was about, I believe it was $81. Um, and as you can see, I got a lot of things. So I'll show you, um, I'm on my lunch break right now, but I'll show you later today. I'll try on the two clothing things. And then I will also show you, um, how each of these things work. I'll, tr I'll try them all out and see if they're actually a good deal or if they were a flop. <laughs> so see you in a minute. Oh, also, this is unrelated to the Timu haul, but I did get myself a sun hat for when I'm in the garden. I got this at Aldi for $6.99. What do you think? 
So here's the first dress. I really like the pattern on this one, but this one's a little tighter, so it's not something that I would probably wear out anywhere, but maybe just around the house. And then this black one is a lot looser, and it also has pockets. So this one's a winner for me. It's a little see-through, but it's okay for around the house. All right, so now in the clips you just saw, and by the way, this is days later <laughs> since I initially showed you the haul, uh, but in those clips I showed you the dresses. Um, I was trying to do like wearing the black one underneath the other one with the other pattern, but the other one is actually tighter. So this one is a lot flowier and that one's a little tighter. Um, and that one's also longer and has a little bit more of a V-neck instead of like the curved. Also this one has pockets. So it is a little bit see-through, um, but I'm just wearing like shorts underneath and a bra, so it's fine. I'm just gonna be in my backyard today. But I do like that they have pockets and it's really flowy, it's really comfortable, so that's awesome. Next thing I'm going to try out is this hose splitter with the um, nozzle and the other hose. So I'm gonna get it all connected and then I'll show you. All right, I have everything connected. As you can see, the existing hose that I had when I attached it to this has a small leak, but this one doesn't. So I'm wondering if somebody bought two hoses with this thing. I think that would work really well. So I think the problem is with my hose, not with the splitter. All right, but as you can see, it's a pretty powerful hose and there's different settings. So there's mist. Jet. And it's going super far. I mean, it's going all the way down my raised beds, which are 16 feet long. It's actually reaching the fire pit over there. So it's actually really, really far. And then there's shower, flat, center, cone back to full so it's actually pretty strong I like this hose I would definitely um, consider if you wanted to get a splitter thing maybe um, getting two of those hoses with the splitter and the hose comes with the actually I'll have to look at my order I can't remember now if it comes with the end or not I don't remember ordering it but I'll have to check but either way it's not bad for how cheap it was okay I'm gonna test this dirty clean thing sorry it's loud my dishwasher is on right now <laughs> but let's see if it's magnetable yay i love that that was a good purchase now for this hose hanger thing it didn't come with any hardware so that's something that I'm gonna have to look at in my order and see if it was like supposed to come with hardware or not. Um, if not, I'll just have to figure out separate hardware. The hanger in and of itself, it's made out of plastic. So with my hoses that are those like scrunched up ones that get bigger when, they, when you turn the water on, they're actually a lot lighter than like a real hose, like the old, you know, classic hoses that I don't know what they're made out of but um they're they're a lot lighter so I think the the material will be okay because I'll just put one on here and then I actually have another hose holder that I had bought last summer that I never put up so I have to find that and put it up and get hardware for this one um but we're gonna say it's probably a win for what I have it just might not work for every hose and you might have to buy hardware, <laughs> but it was very cheap. Um, for these sponges, I mean, they look just like the ones I get from Ikea. Like, I don't see this being a problem. I mean, it's a sponge. And then these bottles, I'm gonna fill one with oil to see if it leaks. That's gonna be my main concern is because you take this part off and then you put the cover on. I wanna make sure it's not gonna leak when I don't want it to, so let's test that out. All right, so this does have a twist off thing. Um, it's 
gonna use my other little oil container to fill from. I can open it. There we go. So nothing's leaking out of like the neck where it um, closes there. Some of, them, some of it came out into the cap, but I think that makes sense because there's nothing sealing it. But that's why they give you a cap, which is nice. Doesn't seem too bad. Let me try. I'm just going to test it on a plate because I don't need to cook anything right now. <laughs> So if I squeeze it, oh, there we go. So it comes out pretty fast and then you basically just, oh geez. It does keep coming out for a little while. So basically it comes out a little faster than I would like, but these were literally less than a dollar. So <laughs> um, if it's something you feel like you wanna try, I think it's maybe worth it for the price, but I don't know how often I'll actually use it because as you can see, it's still coming out and that's kind of annoying. Okay, now we have our little motion sensor lights and they are chargeable, rechargeable. They are not ones that you buy a battery for. So that's nice in the way that you don't have to buy batteries but I'll be curious to see how long they actually last before you have to recharge them. <laughs> so I am going to charge these up and then we'll, I'll charge one of these up and we'll give it a try. Um, for these solar lights, the two different kinds of solar lights I have, I have these puck ones that have a, a stand on them. I'll just have to put those outside somewhere and so that they can get some energy from the solar. And then at night, I can show you what they look like once they have charged up from the sun a little bit. <laughs> okay, I pulled the tabs out on these ones. Oh, it was on. And they do work. They just need a little more charge because they're kind of flickering, see? But I'll put them out so they can charge a little more and then we'll see how they look in the nighttime. Okay, so I put the um, motion sense light thing right under this cabinet. One side of it is a magnet that sticks to the device, and then the other side is adhesive, which sticks to the bottom side of the cabinet. That way you can remove the thing to charge it, but I'll just show you how it works. Let me make it darker. So the motion sensor works, which is cool, and then it turns off after maybe a minute or so, um, but... I think it's a win. This is how you take it off. You just take it off and I can charge it. You just put it right back. So I think those are definitely worth it. Here's the other side. I like it. All right, so the only thing I didn't get to try is these balloon, the magic balloons that fills a bunch of them up with water at once because I am doing this next weekend at my daughter's birthday party. Um, so I can give you an update if you want to know how they are. Um, I can give you an update once I do that. But thanks for watching. If you um, want to try Timu out, like I said, some of them were hit or miss. Um, some things I think were a really good deal. Some of them I'm like, okay, it's not great, but it was also very cheap. So um, I will put a code here on the screen and then in the description box uh, where you can get a discount. Um, through an affiliate link that I have. This video isn't sponsored, but I did join their affiliate program. So in case you want a discount, go for it. But Tux and I are gonna sign off and we will see you next time. Bye.